Hi everyone, my name is Heather and I'm the Worship Arts Leader at FDCO. I was driving in the car with my nine-year-old and we were just talking and it was good to have her just one-on-one -on -one so we could have some conversation and, and she said, Mom, you know, COVID just stinks. I was like, you know, it does. Uh, there are lots of things that we've lost in these past months. So, but we have to keep focused on the silver linings, the things where God has provided and has blessed in ways that we couldn't even imagine. And so every time we brought up something else um, that was perhaps a negative, we would counter it with the, the silver lining, the blessing in it. Last Sunday, Pastor Dan shared this quote. He said, imagine the joy God must feel when he hears us praise him in the midst of the raging storm. And so what does it look like for us in the midst of the storm? And I was thinking like, what when we worship and when we praise, what does that do? And here are some ways when we obey that, when we lift our praise and worship to the Lord, um, that things can change. The first is, um, worship is a primary weapon against strongholds and evil. Um, worship is about God. It's not about us. So it takes the attention off of ourselves and onto uh, Jesus as the centerpiece where it needs to be. So we become less selfish and we look outward more. Um, when we worship, we put before the Lord everything that's going on, everything that we are feeling and every detail that's expressing good, bad, the ugly, all of it gets placed at the foot of the cross before the Lord. And then in reverence and humility, um, and then with joy, only because we know that God will sustain and carry and he's righteous and holy, will carry us through uh, these battles. Um, we can have joy in those moments. Uh, pondering the Lord's ways, reading his word and worshiping him because of his character also transforms us. So we become more like him in our worship. I want that to happen in my life. And then it, last week we sang um, King of Kings. In the darkness we were waiting without hope, without um, life. And that is for all of us. Even the most put together, beautiful, successful achiever, um, wise person has places that um, can be transformed. And so all of us come before him with humility, seeking in our worship to be pleasing to him, to bring glory and honor and have a kingdom expectation um, as children of God. And so what am I going to do? What are we going to do? in the midst of the battles and the things that just stink. Uh, I think that we find the silver linings, those things, those blessings where God is providing and sustaining in the midst of those raging storms. Lift your praise, lift your worship, fix your eyes on Jesus.